Welcome, these are our topics for today. UAVs, Inspire Conference and Intergeo Career, Job Shaker. Let me just say one thing, UAV. These three letters have a huge future ahead of them. That's what the experts are saying. The acronym stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. UVs are taking over the surveying industry and Intergeo too. Ascending Technologies is a German pioneer in the UAV sector. And here's Mr. Stumpf. Yeah, regarding the UAVs, um, they have a great future, we said, and what can they do what the ground-based technology can't? So uh, UAVs are um, a great tool to uh, cover a very big area, so compared uh, to traditional surveying where you um, measure single points, you measure a big area, and afterwards you can do volume measurements, distance measurements uh, in 3D models, in 3D point clouds, in uh, digital elevation models. Um, so that's a big advantage of UAVs. Okay, and in your words, we just said it's a big technology, huge technology, future-oriented technology. What do you think, what can we expect in this year's Intergeo concerning UAVs? So uh, what we'll definitely uh, see this year and the next year on in, Intergeo and uh, UAV technology is that there will be a lot more um, applications for these UAVs. They're a very versatile tool, very easy to handle. Even if you're not a pilot, you can learn to use these as professional tool within a couple of hours. Uh, so you definitely will see more and uh, more and better and professional applications. Great, thank you very much Mr. Stumpf and Ascending Technologies Good. and we have a look what happened today at the third National Inspire Conference. The third Inspire Conference held at the 20s Intergeo was a big success. DVW President Dr. Karl Friedrich Töne announced after the overwhelming resonance of Berlin there will be a continuation of Inspire next year. Mega topics of INSPIRE are the challenges that Germany faces concerning supply of energy, digitalizing of society and building up necessary infrastructure of the 21st century. Geoinformation has a major part in succeeding these tasks. Of course, there are challenges in all sorts of areas besides environmental issues. As you know, data is a valuable commodity these days. And if you think about our position on climate protection, for example, it is precisely this geodata we need. Not just meteorological information, but every kind of location-based data you can imagine. Climate protection is one of the key areas where we rely heavily on this geodata. Collecting this data is one of the big challenges. Evaluating it is another. Even in the political setting of the ministry, how this data is handled has become increasingly important. The federal government has a very clear vision. We talk about open data. That means making data that has been gathered by the public sector freely available, no matter where it has been collected. That is what the people have paid for through their taxes. They should therefore not have to pay a second time to use that data. This is the position of the federal government and one that is shared by the authorities in Berlin and Hamburg. Not all the German states have adopted this stance yet, however, and some local authorities take a critical view, but in principle, I firmly believe that we cannot expect taxpayers to pay for the same thing twice. State Secretary Rogal Grote, Intergeo 2014, welcomes you here in Berlin, not only as an honored guest, but as an active contributor as well. You will be talking about the volume and security of data, of course. How do you handle these topics at the Ministry? What are the key issues? There are two main focal points. We see the potential that lies in gathering and combining data, geodata in particular. In other words, the location-related data that now plays a vital role in almost every business model. And we consider data security to be equally important. You can't do anything these days without taking data protection into account, I would say. We need to be able to trust the Internet and be certain that data is being used properly. This makes data and IT security a major concern for us. What further challenges lie in store? In future we will have to handle huge volumes of data and render them usable. We have to link together data sets from all the various state sources and ensure they can be put to use. We need to be able to achieve them so as to preserve them for the future. Concerning Inspire we are on our way but there is still a lot to be done. 
EEG, there are many sets of data that are not extensively included in INSPIRE. Some of the German states are more active, some of them are less. Above all, the data of the local authority are not enough included in INSPIRE. They could do a lot better. To sum up, the third conference, INSPIRE, held at the Intergeo 2014, was indeed a big success. And now to another highlight of Intergeo's first day, the job shaker. The topics of recruitment and attracting new talent are an important part of Intergeo. Many young people use the chance to come into contact with exhibitors at Intergeo for planning their own careers. The Trend and Media Forum is a daily opportunity for successful networking between companies and potential new recruits. This is where HR managers field questions in the form of short presentations and individual discussions in an informal atmosphere. Well, the Job Shaker is an innovative uh, career event for networking opportunities and um, it's unique because of two things. Um, students can directly network with the company representatives, with the HR specialists, and they can get input. Uh, we have presentations from the companies, which job opportunities uh, they have and um, which career path uh, students can follow. And that's unique. You have no other event like this. At the third international students meeting on 7 and 8 October, some 200 European students will be convening at Intergeo to network with potential employers. The organizer is the FIG's Young Surveyors Network along with other partners. What's in store at the Conference and Trade Fair on Wednesday, the second day of Intergeo 2014? Here are a few suggestions. At 2 p.m. you can visit the English language plenary talk Mobile Future Now in the New York Room, which is organized by the members of the Intergeo Advisory Board. In the Summer Garden behind Hall 6 is the Flight Zone. Here you can watch flight demonstrations by a range of UAV exhibitors. The international press conference on Intergeo also takes place today at noon. We will be reporting on that in tomorrow's edition. And you will find many more recent Intergeo interviews online on intergeo-tv.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.